Crypto Nation. Welcome back to DeFi Daily. Today we're talking about Venus. Let's get into it. It's got a lot of concepts that you might be familiar with if you're not brand new to the DeFi space. What we're looking at here is this, you know, if we can put it in a couple sentences, this is the newest DeFi project on the Binance Smart Chain taking the best of both worlds between MakerDAO and their collateralized debt positions uh, and, and the generation of these synthetic stable coins to back them. Combine that with none other than our favorite compound. <laughs> so the issue with compound is right, it's the Ethereum network's gas fees. And so uh, great, I love this pro I love the idea here. So we've got the Binance smart chain interoperability. So you can send your ETH, you can send your BTC, you can send your aunt, you can send your NEO, you can operate from any of these different blockchains and operate within the Binance universe. But the important thing to remember is that it's not controlled by Binance. There's no pre mine. And the way to get these tokens is through having, I mean, I guess technically, right, <laughs> you have to have the Binance BNB or BUSD or SXP, but, you know, they're not just given. So, you know, it is a decentralized uh, protocol in, in, in that essence. So, you know, what you're going to be able to do is essentially hold your uh, Bitcoin, your BTC, uh, you know, name your. Uh, stable coin or crypto and you're gonna mint these synthetic V tokens so let's say I have BTC I'm gonna put it in the vault and I'm gonna get V BTC out and then I'll be able to mint VI VAI off of that which I can then use to create liquidity so you know the, this is going to be great for institutions that want to earn interest but yet not create a taxable situation same for individuals as well uh, so this allows you to also trade and, and move around your crypto assets while they're being lent out and collateralized so uh, you know it really opens up the opportunity to have your crypto move around a lot more while still gaining uh, you know not losing that portability of crypto while still having that traditional interest model of a bank so anyway, just wanted to give you guys a quick uh, rundown of this protocol. Uh, it's going to start out being governed by the SXP hold token holders and will shift over uh, in, in time as outlined uh, by this white paper. Uh, but essentially, you're going to be able to, again, create a collateralized uh, synth synthetic stable coin off of your crypto tokens with these V token and uh, be able to uh, do that without all of the cons such as the high gas fees or the lack of network interoperability that we see with all of the DeFi projects present today. Hey, if you guys found this helpful, uh, give us a like, you know, upvote, subscribe, really helps keep uh keep the confidence and uh if you appreciate it love to know that you guys do by uh showing that sign of support so thank you guys again for checking out DeFi daily and we'll be back tomorrow peace